The NFL season kicks off tonight with the Detroit Lions going to Arrowhead Stadium to take on the Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, with officially tonight being the kickoff of the 2023 NFL season. What's up, guys? AW Aaron Water presenting you my sports and wrestling channel, Laying a Smackdown, where you get all your latest content related to sports and wrestling. It doesn't matter if you're into both or just one of them. If you're into wrestling and not sports, it's a channel for you. If you're into sports and not wrestling, it's just still a channel for you. If you're new here, do yourself a favor, subscribe, please. I do live streams, I do videos, whatever. I yeah, so yeah, make sure to check this out. Sure. Smash the like button down below, please. Share this out with your friends, family, colleagues, social media platforms, Twitter, X, Threads, Blue Sky, Instagram, Facebook, whatever social media platforms you use. And with that, guys, let's start this week one predictions for the NFL season 2023. So, yeah, we're going to do this every Thursday before the Thursday night games. So this is going to be uploaded before tonight. So this is a Thursday. This will be uploaded before tonight, obviously. I think it's evidently obvious, right? So, yeah, let's get into it. So we'll, talk, we'll, we'll go with tonight's game first. Okay. Tonight's game. The first game tonight is Detroit Lions at Kansas City, as I said in my intro. The defending champions, most likely still the favorites to win another Super Bowl with Patrick Mahomes at the helm. But are they going to be with Kelsey or now? Kelsey might be a game time decision. Uh, in my advice, I would probably sit them out this game. It's a, it's just the first game of the season. There, I don't think him missing this first game of the season. I don't think it will hurt the playoff chances or whatever. So I don't think there's no reason to play him this game. Really, it's just it's just the first game of the season. You got a long way to go. 17 game schedule. Him missing one game is not going to hurt the hurt the Chiefs in the long run, unless all the other teams in the division <laughs> do really, really well, better than expect, better than expected. But I think him sitting out will be smart. But it's up to him, and it's up to the team. It's a game time decision. But yeah, I still got the Chiefs here winning, winning at home tonight. And then let's go to the next game, Bengals at Browns. Okay, this really depends on Joe Burrow's. Okay, I think Cleveland could upset the Brown, the Bengals here. But if Joe Burrow's is playing, and this is a rivalry game, maybe both Ohio teams. I'm gonna, you know, obviously the the home is always a favorite. And Cleveland, you got to, don't underestimate them. But I'm going. I'm still going to go with Cincinnati here. I think they greatly improved their offensive line. I I'm a little suspect of the defense a little bit. I think they lost some key players on defense, but they definitely moved their offensive line to protect Burles if he's starting. If he's not starting this game, then Cleveland Browns will win. But I'm still picking Cincinnati here. But if we get word that Joe Burles is not cube, is not playing game one, week one, Cleveland uh, Cleveland will win. Um, Texans at Ravens. It should be a no-brainer. Uh, Texans have no chance. This is not going to be a a hard a two-minute two-minute segment on this on this game. Yeah, Baltimore wins here. Baltimore wins here. Sorry about that. You know what? I forgot to put this up. And we'll go to the next game. Buccaneers at the Vikings. Uh, you know what? I'm not high on the Vikings as it as the I mean they could win the division. I think the NFC North is not as strong, especially with uh Rodgers out of the division. And I'm not a believer in Baker Mayfield anymore. I did, I did, I did believe in Baker Mayfield a couple of years ago, two or three years ago. But I felt I got off that train two years ago. I'm like I'm not, a, I'm not high on Baker Mayfield. I'm gonna go with Minnesota here at home. With the Vikings, yeah, it's the Vikings. <sighs> to me, this is a very weak division. I, I'm gonna go see. I 
Carolina, I think, could upset some teams in this division. I think Carolina is a better team than they were last year, personally. But I know they're going with uh, Bryce Young, and I, I'm not sure. They, I think they might have made him, made him the official starter. But I really do like Atlanta. I know they're going with the second-year quarterback, but I do like the weapons on offense. I'm going to go with the Falcons here at home, though, over the Carolina Panthers. Commanders or Cardinals? Now, Arizona Car- Cardinals has has named a QB, and it's not Kyle Murray, it's Josh Dubs. The Commanders are going with Sam Howell. Uh, this game is a little bit harder. I think Commanders has a good defense. I don't know much about their offense. They got McLaren, yeah. And some people think Washington Commanders might be better than people give them credit for because they're in a tough division, NFC East, with Dallas, New York, and Philadelphia. But Arizona, if they're tanking, if they're tanking, uh, so I got Washington here at home. Colts or Jaguars? Colts go with Anthony Richardson as a QB, the, the, who they drafted. I don't think it's ready to start. I think he has some more tools, promising tools, but he was up. He was really inconsistent in preseason. I don't think he's ready to start. Even if he is ready, I don't see them, especially Johnson Taylor, I don't see him winning this game at home. I know Jacksonville, he said in the past, has problems with beating Indianapolis at Indianapolis in Indy, yep. Yeah. But with the rookie QB in Indianapolis going where I think Jacksonville is going to have no trouble this time beating Indianapolis in Indy this time. I think that, I wouldn't say a curse, but their issues of playing Indianapolis are over. Or losing Indianapolis is over. Indiana, yeah. So I got Jacksonville. Forty Niners in Pittsburgh. Now, the only thing I'm not sold on San Francisco is Brock Purdy, but overall, the rest of the team is solid. They just got Bosa back for mega deal, so it's gonna help their defense a lot. Pittsburgh has a good defense. They got good offensive rep. It's just it's is is what's this? Oh, shit. Pick it. Pickett and Pickens. Are they the duel? Are they the next big duel? Can they... T- and I think this is going to be... I don't think this is going to be a high-scoring game. I wouldn't be surprised if Pittsburgh does come out, come out the winner. I'm going to go with my surprise picker. I got Pittsburgh winning this. But I'm not confident on that. Okay? I think Pittsburgh is better. They, they're, they're not a terrible team. They might be... They might be... One worst team in the AFC North. Or they might be a better team than... A, better than the worst team in the AFC North. But I got Pittsburgh maybe, uh, you know, giving San Francisco a little problems here. I, I, I'm going to go with my upset here, Pittsburgh over San Francisco. Yeah, you, you can call me out on it if you want. Tides and Saints is a little bit harder because I think the Saints might be the best team in the NFC self, personally. And Tennessee, I think, is a good team, too. I think Tennessee has a chance to make the playoffs. They're not better than Jacksonville, but they got, they got a good running back, really good running back. They got Hopkins. So, um, I got, But New Orleans is always good at home. I think I got New Orleans winning here, but I'm not confident on it. So if you're going to bet or gamble, don't take my word. Um, don't take my word as truth, okay? So... Don't don't bet based on my prediction, please. Gamble. Don't don't pretty bet on who's gonna win, whether it's just whether who's gonna win, whether it's the point totals or the spread. Don't take don't take my predictions and bet based on my predictions, please. There's better experts for that. So okay, that's for every week too. Not that, not just this week, every week. Okay. This is, could be this could be this could be su- surprising, right? Denver, Las Vegas. Now, I think I got Denver winning here. Denver should be the better team. I'm I, I'm not 100 percent sure on Russell Wilson. We'll see what Russell Wilson does with new coach Sean Payton. Vegas is grappled, but I think Vegas is they got Devontae Adams, but who else do they have? I'm gonna go with Denver here winning at home in Mile House Stadium. But, you know, we'll see how we'll see. They had a terrible team match. They can't be worse than last year, right? So I'm going Denver here. Champagne's gonna Champagne's gonna turn this team around. I think so. That's what I think. So Denver over Vegas Raiders. (sighs) 
Philadelphia Eagles at New England Patriots. Uh, New England Patriots is the worst team in the AFC East. They got they don't have a great offense. They're gonna have trouble scoring. The defense is solid, but Philadelphia is better all around, better quarterback, good offense, good defense. Um, yeah, Philadelphia's gonna win here on the road over New England. No doubt about it. Rams and Seahawks. <sighs> I think Los Angeles Rams had a terrible year last year. I think they're better than the last year's team. I don't, Seahawks, to me, could be a fluke based on Geno Smith. Uh, because he, this is his best year ever, and he's been in the league for like a decade, and he's never really panned down until last year. We'll see. They give him a huge contract. We'll see if it's a flash on pan, or this is really something Geno Smith is trying to figure out. But Los Angeles, like, if, they got, if they're healthy, they could, they could upset Seattle here. But I'm still going to Seattle here at home. It's because they're playing Seattle and it's hard to win in, in there in Seattle. So Seattle. Seahawks. Dolphins and Chargers. Oh man, this could go either way, man. Because I think Miami has a chance to make the playoffs and win the AFC East. I know I didn't in my prediction show I didn't have them winning the AFC East, but I wouldn't be surprised if they win the AFC East. And I think Los Angeles Chargers are should be better than what they've done in the playoffs. Their defense has their defense has to show up because they do have good defensive players, but they haven't been in sync. Kelly Mack and such others. But Miami, can they uh, can, the only way the Chargers could win this game is if they can somehow manage to stop Jalen. Jalen Waddle and Tyreek. I know it's a hard, hard goal. It's a hard task to do because it's you have two speedy receivers, two number ones, but they got to somehow reduce the reduce the offense by those two. So I'm, I don't know, man. I think I might go with Los Angeles here, but I, you know Miami could win this game. See, I'm going to Chargers, but I don't know. Oh. Bears and Green Bay rivalry game. Who do I have here? I don't know. That's a good question. Justin Fields, Green Bay, Jordan Love. I think Green Bay has a defense in the in uh, so, I don't know. There's some offensive weapons, but they got Jordan Love here. Justin Fields is more experienced, and they gave him some weapons. I'm going with Chicago here. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Bears here. It'd be Green Bay. I'm just not sold on Jordan Love. Jordan Love has to convince me. I'm a little bit more sold on Justin Fields. I think. He's developing, and I think with the weapons now, he could take the next level. So Chicago. Cowboys in New York. <sighs> Cowboys are a better team here. New York has a good defense. I don't like the weapons over offense. They got Barkley and they got Waller. But I'm not sold down Jones. He had one good year. One good year. It's, it's like Geno Smith. Is he a flash in a pan, or is, is he real? Is he real? Dallas has the offense weapons. They have the defense. It all depends on Dak Prescott. But I still think... me. me I don't know. I'm not sold. I'm not 100% on this one. This is, to me, this is 50-50. I think I'm going to go to New York here. But I don't know, man. Dallas could win this game, too. Like, So, yeah. So, D- New York Giants. And the final game, the Monday night game, Buffalo, New York. Aaron Rodgers' debut as a Jet versus Josh Allen. And this is going to be the most watched. I mean, this is a, what a way to kick off Monday night football for 2023. Man, Buffalo, we know they got the weapons, right? I don't know about the running game. I don't like the running game. New York has a running game with Brees Hall and Dalvin Cook. I, I think they got good offense weapons. And what's his name? Oh. Whatever. The offense. Garrett Wilson. They got a good defense. They got Rodgers. This is going to be a hell of a game. This could be a close game, man. Close game. I don't know, man. Like like the Giants and Cowboys and some other games I had to pick. Uh, and, man. <sighs> I'm going to go... Buffalo here only because Aaron Rodgers did not have much preseason or preseason time with 
the Jets. I know he's done practice with them, obviously, in practice, but it's not the same in game in game action. He had a couple of snaps in preseason, in preseason, and maybe so. So he may there may be a little rusty, a little rusty in his first game. So I'm going Buffalo here just based on that. But you know anything can happen. Going Buffalo here, yeah, Buffalo Bills. And with that, that's my prediction. Share, like, subscribe, comment below. Tell me your predictions. Don't if you're betting. If you're betting, don't don't base it off of my predictions, please. Based off of more the experts in, in gambling, please. I don't want you to lose money because of me. But yeah, do me for likes, share, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you guys. Take care.